Hello, Celine, and welcome back to another edition of SHS Today. First up, Tina shows us how to make some delicious lemon bars. Next, Riley sits down with the new superintendent and lets us get to know him a little bit better. And finally, we have Brittley and Travis continuing an old segment of Dude, Let's Try It. All this and more on this week's edition of SHS Today. Hello, Hornets, and welcome to another episode of SHS Today in the wonderful month of May. I'm Mitch Mazur. And I'm Andre Gatlin. We've got a great show for you today that will start by satisfying your sweet tooth. Sweet tooth? What do you mean by that? Well, Mitch, during the quarantine period, people have been looking for things to do. Tina Pham shares with us a delicious way to pass the time. Now I'm just hungry. I'll definitely be using this recipe. Well, I hope you're not too hungry because now we got some baking related fun facts. Max Watkins, take it away. Welcome to SHS Today Fun Facts with Max Watkins. Did you know that chocolate chips were invented after the creation of the chocolate chip cookie in 1937? The success of the cookie prompted the individual sale of the semi-sweet morsels a few years later. In 2017, a 106-year-old fruitcake from 1910 that, quote, looked and smelled edible was found in one of Antarctica's first buildings. Now that's an old fruitcake. I hope you learned something new on this edition of Fun Facts with Max Watkins. Back to you in the studio. That was a fun little segment, but we need to move on from food. Do we have any important news, Andre? Actually, we do. If you haven't already heard, Celine has a new superintendent. Dr. Steve Lotch. Tina Pham introduces us to him and lets us get to know him a little bit better. As former superintendent Scott Graydon retires to Northern Michigan to begin his small business, many were left wondering who will be the next leader to make important decisions. With many worthy and exceptional contenders, Celine Board of Education has chosen one of their very own trusted members of the community, a man who has worked close with Scott Graydon in the past. Please welcome Steve Lotch. I think that this is such a great school district and I'm really honored to be able to serve in this capacity for the students, the staff, and, and the, the entire community. As Dr. Lotch settles into his new position, I want to know what he plans to achieve now that he's the new superintendent. You know, I, I look forward to continuing to work with the students and staff and uh, moving the district forward in a positive light. We're also working on our elements of a more culturally inclusive curriculum. We talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion, how we want all our students to feel that they are uh, supported and can see themselves in the curriculum model in the district. Uh, snow Day Steve is my new uh, term that I'm, I'm gathering for the one um, snow day that we did call this year. So I know that students uh, find that fun and, and, and want to engage in that way. So um, uh, speaking of those, uh no oh, geez, so I, oh, I can't take that kind of uh, uh, monetary uh, figures. <laughs> 
Thank you so much, Dr. Steve Lodge. We are so excited for what you will achieve this year and many years after. This has been Tina Pham reporting for SHS Today. See you back in the studio. Dr. Lodge would also like for the student body to know that their voices can make a difference and that they can reach out if they have any questions. You can find Dr. Steve Lodge at lodgess at selenschools.org or his Twitter account at EducateSeline. Selene High School is having its prom celebration on Saturday, May 22nd at the Selene High School football field. The event is senior only and tickets are only available for pre-sale. Please check your emails for more information. Next up, we'll be bringing back an old segment, now being hosted by Travis Woodman and Brittley Warren. They are going to delve into a colorful activity that is quite unfamiliar to them in this revived edition of Dude Let's Try It. Welcome back, SHS Today to Dude Let's Try It. Today we're going to be trying out watercolor painting. Um, it's been a long ten time since I've done this. Britley, you? Uh, I don't paint, and these are oil paints. Oh. <laughs> We brought a professional with us today. Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name's Ada. Uh, that's about it. This is going to be a trunk for our first tree. Happy little trees. Happy little trees. Barbara. Yes. Let's go. So I kind of make mine thinner at the top and then wider at the bottom. Like okay. a tree. Like a tree. That makes sense. I'm literally shaking and crying right now. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, my tree looks infected. It's beautiful. It's, it's, it's infected. It's perfect in every way. <laughs> Just like you. Oh wow, you're such a liar, Brittley. <laughs> I think that's a makeup brush, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it is! <laughs> makeup is just paint for your face. Yeah. That's a big brain move. <laughs> So, kind of the rule of thumb when you're putting things in the background is they have to be higher and smaller. Alright, so how so much beautiful. do you think these incredible, incredible paintings would go for on the, the, the market? Yours would be like worth two billion dollars. I knew it! If ZB were to wear pants, would it be on just like his butt half or would it be on all of his legs? Yes. Let's, uh, any closing remarks? This was a mistake. <laughs> No, this was this was a happy accident. That that's been uh, dude. Let's try it. Um, and I think after all that, we can all say we did in fact try it. So um, yeah, see you guys back at the studio. Bye. Great job, guys. Those are some real Bob Ross level paintings. Eh, I mean one of them definitely was, but I don't know about the other two. Thanks again to Ada Ilian for being on the show. The SWWC Building Trades Program is having an open house next Tuesday, May 18th, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The open house is located at 1217 Davis Street in Ypsilanti. Well, that's all the time we have this week. I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Mitch Mazur. And I'm Andre Gatlin. Tune in next week when we introduce you to an SHS student, pilot in training, make a trip to a thrift store, and explore a new class, technical math. Have, Have a, a great, great week, week Hornets. Hornets.